Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Jack of Ice, and welcome to a brand new series on City Skylines. Now since unfortunately we have to end our banished playthrough, we are now here with City Skylines. I decided we were going to continue with the theme of Wednesdays being a kind of city building-esque strategy survival type game where you're controlling a large amount of people or something like that. But this time... A little easier one. Instead of having to fight for survival, we're just going to build a nice town. And we are going to be playing it on Diamond Coast. And let's name our town. We are going to go with... Oops. Nope. Frosty... Uh, Frostal Front. A nice town. There are all of the ways of connections and all of the resources here. Along with a good 69% of suitable building area. And let us get into our... Nice new town. All right, and here we are. So I know the place. So let's close that, and I'm gonna pause the game. So this is our little building building area right here. This little square. We've got a little bit of water down here. Now, for those of you that don't really know what this game is, it's very much like SimCity, where you build your city, and you need to kind of balance things out. Yes, I know. With the residential need in green. Eventually your commercial green will be in blue and then your industrial green, uh, industrial need in yellow. But the difference is in SimCity you just get this box and that is it. In this one, as time goes on, you will be able to purchase more boxes. The bigger your city gets, you'll be able to eventually unlock more. And um, if I look ahead, there we go, I get a new area once I have reached a population of a thousand. Which, in my experience, is quite before you actually need it. So the first things we need to do is we need to get a road underway. Now, what I found one of the best ways to get this is doing a one-way road. Do we have access to a one-way road yet? No, we do not. Uh, let's see. Hmm. If I just do that. There we go. Now I have access to a one-way road just by I have put down a road. So let's pull this out. And I also need to curve it. So my plan here is we are going to make a nice... Oops, hello. What am I doing? There we go. A nice roundabout here to start off with. Yeah, that is not that nice of a circle. But it's a circle! That's what matters. So I find doing a nice little roundabout here is a good way to start it. That way they can easily get on and off. And then what we're wanting to do from there, since it's not going to be a massive urban city for now, we just need some normal roads coming off. So let's have a road kind of come off of here. Perfect. And now we are going to need a little bit of residential, some commercial, and let's not just have it fill, let's just do this block here. There we go. Oops, not that one. And we can start our city underway. So now since we have this, let's speed up the game. People should start coming in. Oh, what? There's no cars on the road. But yes, as you see, the buildings are being built up. Loads of little towns that is now heading down. They are, however, going to need water and power. So let's make a water tower. Is there no water down here? Interesting. So we are going to need a water pumping station from here, so there's no water over there, and we are going to need to pipe that all the way up here. Just have it follow along. There we go. And we're also going to need a dumping place, which we can put down there. Connect those up. Perfect. Now we also are going to need power. I like using wind turbines. I don't really like the coal power as much. I much prefer going green and clean so let's put a couple of wind turbines down here so as you see this little blue area that's where it will power we need to connect these electricity lines one to there and we need one to come up here why is it getting finicky with oh it's getting finicky down here that's why let's have one go there and then connect up to here and that i don't know if it's loud for you but it is very loud for me. So let's turn that way down. Let's turn the music down. Let's turn that. Let's just turn everything down a bit. Okay. Oops, not that one, but here. 
Okay, that is much better. It's still a little loud, but it is a lot better, to say the least. So for now, we're just going to kind of plug it in there. And that should have fixed our problem. If we have enough power. Do we? Yes, we have enough power available. Uh, so they should now have water and power. Yep, they've got water. And I think they've got power. Elevated votes. You can build elevated votes by using the page up key to raise a vote and the page down to lower it. Very nice. This allows me to do cool things like this. If I page up, there we go. And it can go actually quite high. And I can actually, I believe, go underground, yes. It's cool. So you basically have this little Twitter bird. It's basically Twitter. It's not, but it basically is. That lets you kind of see what your people are thinking and if they like you, if they have problems. Here we have the economy where we can increase the budget for our power and our water, but I normally just leave it as 100% for both. I feel like that's normally a good amount. We are, however, losing money, which is a problem. Oh, wait, if we look up here, there we go. Oh, wait, no, that, yeah, that's just wind in the general area. That's happiness. Residential is somewhat happy, but not very happy. Traffic is high right there, which makes sense. Besides, that is pretty good. And... There's so traffic rats. Cool. Close you around and close you as well. So we are in need of an industrial area. So let's have another part of the street come off of here. And we're going to have a nice little... Uh, let's actually... Yeah, let's curve this one a bit. Curves up to there. Perfect. Yes, I know we have zones available. And now I want to do my little grid pattern. Uh, yes, that's correct, 90 degrees, isn't it? And we are just going to do a small area for now. There we go. And allow this to be done. Oops. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And that will allow them um, to make up a bunch of industrial zones, which we will need basically right now, as you can tell. We are able to produce product and get a lot more money from this. And also I've realized they're not getting any power or water. So we don't actually have to connect it from there. Since there are, this is a connected area, this entire green, uh, blue area. Basically these have like the normal everyday power lines that you see already kind of incorporated in and taken forth. These are like the big industrial ones that need to be moved around. So we, in fact, we can simply do that. And that should give power. Yes, it does. Perfect. And then we can get the water line up here, then across. And then we just need to connect all of that. Perfect. And also I'm going to connect it like that. I don't need to, but I like connecting it in circuits. So now the problem is this is dumping all of our sewage back into the water, which we don't really want. But for now, it's what we've got. Eventually, there's a water treatment plant, which we'll make once we get to 16,000. And that will allow us to no longer be dumping pollution just back into the river. So how are we on power? Power is good. This, at this point, we just want to continue to expand our little town. So that one day, this can be a roaring metropolis. Now, I do this in really weird patterns. I'm going to have to break that. That's fine. I can connect it back in a second. Doop -a doop And that should be fine for now. It wasn't. Okay. Uh, let's do that. And then that. And then that. Perfect. Okay. That fixed our problem for power. Now we're going to need a lot more housing. Let's allow housing in all of these areas. Except this one. I want... Partial housing for half of it. Commercial for right there. And then commercial for right there. And then housing for the middle. Because why not? Why not? Uh, instead of just doing giant clubs. Now, the water we do need to continue to monitor. Because I will forget about it all of the times. And what I've realized here is we're going to need to bring this along. I'm going to actually bring it. Oh, hello. There we go. We are a little hamlet. We have reached 500 population. Which means we can now... Set taxes, we can do loans, and we also need to pay attention to garbage, healthcare, and education as well. 
So I'm going to do that in a second. As I was saying, I'm going to bring this past a little bit so we can incorporate it. It'll be already set up for when we expand. Ooh, I messed that up. I'm going to have to bring that down like that. There we go. So we now we need garbage to be dealt with. And the normal way I do garbage is I do it near the industrial area because that is one of the best places to do it. This is already going to be a place where people are not happy. So you might as well keep the pollution and the unhappiness somewhat in the same area. Oh, hello. I put it on the end of the street there. Perfect. And that should cover everything nicely. We are also going to need to build our clinic, which is 10,000, which we have enough for. I am going to put it... Uh, we need it. We want it to be able to cover here, too. Let's put it there on the corner of that street. And then also to get rid of some of the congestion there, we are going to, not there, because that's going to work badly, connect that road up there. Let's do a chunk of this here, down here, be as a uh, commercial, as well as a chunk of it down here to be commercial. But I want the rest of it to be for uh, population, residential. And from the looks of our balance bars, we are in need of more industrial, but we can, in fact, just allow industrial over here. Field tool is so much more useful in most cases. There we go! We are now a worthy village. Gotten a whole 1,000 people. So we can now unlock these buildings once we reach the population goals. They will get us some landmarks and these are achievements. I have played this game a little bit, but I've not played it fully. So there's, there's stuff I have missing and we'll get some achievements along this way, I'm pretty sure. And if we don't, well, I did something wrong, and we're going to get some. Doop, doop. And this one is just a D-zone. These ones are like for office buildings, high-density commercial, and then also high-density residential, which are quite nice to have later on. But we are desperately in need of a fire department, as we do not have one. Let's put it over here, because that should now cover both of these areas, which is the most important. And we also are going to need a police officer. Let's do it in the same spot. Now they have no water where they are, so let's run a pipe up, and let's just connect it up to the mains over here. There we go. Fully connected up. And our water is good. How's our electricity? Electricity is getting low. How much is this wind turbine? It is 6,000. We're close. That's going to be all of our money. So what we're going to do is we're going to go take out our first loan. We can afford this loan, so let's get the big loan. So we now have gotten ourselves our big loan. Put down another wind turbine. In fact, let's get two. And then we are also going to... We are good on garbage. Good. We also are wanting ourselves a school. So we can have a little bit of education. And to fit in the school, we are going to bulldoze these two buildings. Everyone gets really happy that there's a school. And now they will get educated. Oh, hello. Yes, right. You are not in the power lines. We're going to need to just connect you right there. Perfect. In fact, let's allow residential and commercial. But we want to dezone. Let's do it in the block. There, upwards. Because that is getting very close to our garbage dump. Which nobody wants to live near, so we're not going to ask them to. Landmark-wise, we have no landmarks available. We have not unlocked any. But eventually... We will. Now we can also set some policies. We can set a power usage policy, which is a $5 upkeep a building, but it also reduces the amount of electricity consumption, which is nice, but I mean, it's five cents, not $5, it's five cents a building. So it's not actually as expensive as I first said. What we are going to do is make smoke detectors a necessity. Now, all the buildings will have smoke detectors, decreases the risk of fires significantly, as it says, and upkeep for buildings has increased by five cents a building. But that's all right. We're also able to set districts. So we are going to set... Oh, hello. Why do you have no power? Wow, we are just out of power. Okay. Let's add a couple more wind turbines. I really should be probably paying more attention to where I'm putting them. But it's fine. Why are you pinging me with new services? There's nothing to build there. Okay, we should be good on power now. Are we? Oh, we are. Right on the edge. 
one more wind turbine. That should be good for now. That should hold. So we're going to go in and paint ourselves a district. What's this one again? Oh yes, those are those zoning type things. Let's do ourselves a nice little district up here. The, the Cypress District, as it's called it. And if I now go, I believe, into policies, I can set a policy for the district. So I can just go Cypress District having... Oh, okay, it has to be selected like that. But I can turn on a power usage one. So I can do that. Now it decreases the amount of electricity that area needs. And I only have to pay for those buildings. Which is quite nice. Now I don't know if that's actually going to have been worthwhile to do. Yeah, seems pretty good. We are in desperate need of expanding again. There's a massive demand of people to be able to move into this town. Let's build up some more roads, like that, and then let's build one across there, as well as building out over here. Then through there, and we're going to go one straight down there, and one straight up here, and for traffic's sake, connect them, oops, hello, in the middle like that, and like that. Perfect. It's a little weird, a little strange, but that's how we are over here. But let's also do that as well. Now we want to allow these to expand to more residential areas. So let's do it like that. Allow this to be residential also. Then we're going to want some commercial, 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 uh, residential, residential. Oh, there we go. We are now a tiny town. We've locked landscaping, parks, which we very much need, pet band, smoking band, parks and recreation, as well as being able to make a channel and a whole bunch of new buildings. Most of these are the parks, but we have also allowed some more education buildings. So we are going to go in and make some parks because we need our area to be a little nicer looking. So let's plop in a small little park Really, it's not that small. It's a pretty big park, but it's a small park. Right here. That should make everyone a lot happier. And let's also put a park right up there. And a botanical garden. We're going to have to knock down a couple buildings up here, but that should help make people more happy. Now, that did cost us quite a lot, but it should be fine. It should fix itself out once these buildings start coming in. We're also going to need to expand our water lines. There we go. Water lines expanded. We have a whole heap of power being produced now. And we are barely using half. So we are in a good place for that. Now I'm also going to do a smoking ban. That is just going to be everywhere. No smoking increases their health slightly, but slightly decreases happiness, which I think we'd be fine with. I would rather my people be healthy. Now, only in the Cypress District, we're going to do a pet ban. Because we don't care so much about these people being happy up here, because no one lives here. In fact, I don't even know that's going to be worthwhile, but we're going to do it anyway. And there's also the Parks and Recreation. Modelling increases land value around parks and plazas, increases the parks and plazas budget by 20%. So they will cost me more. But they're nicer. We're also going to district this off as a residential zone. At some point we are going to come in here and name these districts. But for now, Mistral Heights and Cypress are what we've got. Let's go here. We're going to do a rec parks and recreation. As well as water usage. No, I think it's fine for now. So what this is saying is we have the quarries, we can kind of shape some land around us, as well as add some paths, a little bit of trees, add a tree in here, put some trees along this path here, there we go, make it much nicer looking. I think these are free, no, they cost me money, but I don't think they do much, so, I don't know, it looks nice having a little bit more trees in there, got a park over here, and I am wanting to put some more parks in here, but I think we're going to... Leave it. Maybe get a castle park over here. 
one down here, a little cow cell. Oh, a cow cell over here. Cow cell right there. There we go. Now, as you can see, loads of people are happy. There's high amount of entertainment, except right here. You get a bouncy castle. Hmm, where do we want to put the library? I like the idea of it kind of central, but then we have to bulldoze a bunch of houses. I always feel mean to that. No, we're going to bulldoze a bunch of houses. There we go, a public library. It's upkeep of 400 a week, operating normally. Public libraries collect, store, and lends out a variety of books, films, new papers, etc. for citizens. Visitors last week, zero. But that will increase over time. Oh, we are. Wow, we are in need of industrial zone. I completely missed that. But we are going to want to expand this. Um, ooh, there we go. We are Boomtown. We got our second land piece. We haven't even used the first one. We know we're close to needing it. But we also have transport, and more unique buildings, and buses for our transport. We also got a bunch of new roads that we can do. We can make our highways, do large roundabouts, which are a lot better than mine. We've got the advanced wind and turbine. These can be put in the water, and they also collect some solar powers. They are a lot better. Bus depot, cemetery, two-way toll booth, and a one-way toll booth. And recreational use, I believe, of drugs. Yeah. Allowing the recreational use of controlled substances to attract more tourists, but also requires more policing. Increase police budget, slightly reduce crime rate, moderately increase tourism, slightly increase tax income. Ah, it's actually mostly positive things. And recycling, which we are definitely going to do. And ore specialization, which I believe is another zoning thing. So I'm going to have to build right through that rock. There we go. And now we can go away. I've already built a public library. Allow some more industrial buildings to be built. As well as that, we are going to want ourselves a cemetery. I don't really want it near the garbage dump, but it's going to be kind of near to the garbage dump because I don't want it like right next to everyone else. So we're going to put it right there because we don't need that piece of power anymore because it's all connected up now. And there's nothing new here, nothing new there. We are able to build bus transit, which we are going to do. Let's build the bus depot right there. And then we also need to create a line. So put a stop there. Um, let's put a stop there. A stop over... No, not there. But here. Then there. There. I always make very long bus lines. There. Over to here. Up to there. Then it needs to come into the industrial zone. Around. Back on down there. And then it is going to make its final stop right there. Perfect. We have made ourselves a neat little bus line. And we are once again losing money. But that should go up as these buildings come into existence. We also need to give them some water. Perfect. Everywhere is now watered up. We need to check our electricity. It's working, but it is getting close. So we are going to need another one of those shortly. But we have gotten our nice little town. We are going to want to expand this zone up here to include those areas around there. Perfecto. And we're good on parks. Why are you not being built? Are you not zoned? No, you're not. There we go. Allow residentials. We are also going to allow some commercial to be built up here. Oops. There too. Perfect. We also want to find a way to alleviate this traffic right here. I don't really care about tolls, but it's the thing we can do. I might not, though. And let's build a road out here. And it is going to connect into here. That uh, is now another way into our town to help alleviate some of the traffic pressure. And let's build one. Mm, oh, not enough money. I don't have enough money to build that load. But our money is coming in. And quite nicely at that too. So this should help with our congestion that we are having. Yeah. Ooh, hello. Why is there a power problem there? We're just out of power in general. We're going to need another loan. I did not want to do that. There we go. 
we need power. Let's get some of these underway. They need to be built in the ocean, which is fine. Look. Boom. 20 power. 20 power. Ooh. We need a second elementary school. We have no high school or university, so that is a problem. There's one eligible. There's loads eligible to high school. So we are going to need another elementary school as well as a high school. But we don't have the money for that right now. So we are going to need to save for that. That is going to take a little bit of time. Yes, all these need educated workers. But that is what is going... I'm going to try that again. That is going to do it for today. If you have enjoyed this episode, like and comment down below. If you're new to the channel and like to see more, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, stay icy. Bye.